was no such thing as post-traumatic stress disorder, of course, back then, and that's part of the point of the play and part of the problem of the play, that Les has come home from this hideous experience and no, no, he hasn't talked about it, he hasn't told anybody about it, it's, uh, and, and uh, Irene knows nothing about it, as she says towards the end, I had no idea, I didn't know, it hasn't occurred to anybody that to send him on this trip might actually awaken something hideous for him. And I think that, that part of this, the point of this, of staging this is that uh, Australia needed to be reminded too. And you can't deal with with stress and, and trauma without bringing it out into the open and talking about it. And that's part of the tragic sort of cathartic journey that the play is on. What is most interesting about the play's treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder for me is the way that it actually gets the audience inside the experience of it yes. um, through bringing us uh, inside Les's head and the way in which the form of the, well, the form of the play essentially matches the experience of of post-traumatic stress disorder. I did some interesting research, but that's because it's sort of standard research you will do, it's a standard Wikipedia research that you might do as a director before you work on something. But uh, uh, looking at, at the symptoms of, of yeah. post-traumatic mm. stress disorder or PTSD uh, and realising that they are a kind of point-on-point point fit for what's going on with Les, re-experiencing. For the way in which the yeah. audience experiences yeah. the journey yeah. through the play. To, Ab yeah. Absolutely, yeah. and that's the the, yeah. the mastery of what, what Rommel has done, is that yeah. the protagonist journey matches the audiences. Yeah. Uh, so they're having the same experience. This uh, suppression of one's own feelings, uh, it was a very hard thing to deal mm. with. And it, I, I find Les's trajectory really interesting from that point of view because because he, he's giving a performance for the first half of the play he's you know his answer to everything is to tell to tell a mm. dirty story or or a lyric or, a lyric or something in this final poetic speak wonderful speech he emerges uh, it emerges that this was the, when he was really living when things yeah. were that that everything was more real to him yes on the burma tyrant and railway than it's ever been since. In many ways, this is as much Irene's tragedy uh, as it is as it is Les's. The way in which they patently haven't been able to talk about or, or navigate or negotiate this experience of Les's wartime trauma, while of course Les's arc and journey is vitally important, it's actually been quite fascinating to work on on Irene's as well and see this woman whose husband is sort of falling apart uh, in front of her eyes in a way that she hasn't experienced before.